Okay, hello class. Um, today we're going to do the distance formula. So first we need to uh, express the formula. And the distance formula is as follows. D equals the square root okay, of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now, a couple of details here. First of all, inside the parentheses is minus, outside is plus. x2 and x1, when I, um, I'm saying those two expressions, I'm talking about subscripts, not superscripts, okay? So the two here is in the bottom of the x, is not on the top. Remember, if it's on the top, it's an exponent. And these are not exponents. Those are just subscripts, which are names for the variables. So this is a way to differentiate these two variables. Okay. Now, what are these variables? They're coordinates. So they comes from a point called x1, uh, y1. Oops. Let me erase that. Okay, it's not a ring. Oh, there it is. So y1, my bad. And the next coordinate is x2, y2. On the homework, it, it also exp it's expressed as p's for points. So p1 equals x1, y1. p2 equals x2, y2. Okay. And now, how do you use that with numbers, right? So let's use an example. If, for example, in the homework, if you have P1 equals coordinates negative 3, 4, and P2 equals 4, negative 5. Well, the first thing I want you to do is to label them. So this one is x1, y1. This one is x2, y2. Okay, and now you can plug it into the formula. Now the formula, like I said, is the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Now let me pause for a second. Notice that I changed the order, right? First I started here with x2 minus x1, and then all of a sudden I wrote x1 minus x2. Are these the same thing? And the answer is yes, they are. The only reason they are the same thing is because when you square it, it gets rid of the negative, okay? So on the formula, you can use either one, okay? It's the same thing. So now let's plug in the numbers. X1 is negative 3. So negative 3 minus X2, which is 4 squared plus Y1 is 4 minus Y2 is negative 5. Notice there's a minus in front. So I'm going to put another parenthesis and then square. This parentheses is for the negative 5. This one is for the formula. Okay. Now let's continue. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. When you have two negatives, they add. Plus. Keep change flip, right? Negatives and negatives. Negative times negative is a positive. So this is 4 plus 5 squared. Negative 7 squared is what? Well, it's not 14, remember? And it's not negative 14 either. Negative 7 squared is negative 7 times negative 7, which makes positive 49. 4 plus 5 is 9, OK? 
Okay. Now again, what is 9 squared? It's not 18. Okay. It's 9 times 9, which is 81. Okay. Let's keep going down. Now 49 plus 81, well, what is that equal to? 9 plus 1 is 10, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, so 130. Now on the test, you need to simplify. So 130 can be equal to what? Well, it looks like it's 10 and 13, right? Now, 13 is a prime number. 10, even though it's not a prime number, is not a perfect square and doesn't factor into perfect squares. So we need to use a different value, 430. Now, because 13 and 10 don't have perfect squares as um, factors, then the square root of 130 simplifies to the square root of 130. And that will be your answer. If you have any um, questions, let me know in class. And thanks for watching.